winner's locker room in Phoenix. It was the Heat already focusing in on the next day. Yeah, wanted to move on, get to the L.A. as soon as possible, and just a feel of, feeling of confidence in the air. Well, top shot blocker in the league, Anthony Davis, just sent it back on Kenzie, who was ball watching. And uh, the first score for Miami comes on another terrific slash cut by Kendrick Nunn. He's building up a reputation, one of the best cutting teams in the league, as Davis knocks in the jumper. For soon, uh, he is going to get Bam on him probably midway through the quarter, but trying to show him a different look with Myers Leonard. You see the quickness and the quick step back there by Anthony Davis. Oh, Nunn's pass for Bam was intercepted by Davis. Val McGee, he's got to release it sooner or get up under the basket, try to use a reverse layup. Lakers are the top shot blocking team in the league, more than eight a game. The Heat are third, by the way. Air balls the three. He was partially to making the most of his 16th NBA season and uh, his second tour with the Lakers. Here's Davis against Myers Leonard. That's good. Second score from three. He's been terrific. Now Bam is on Anthony Davis for the first time. It happens halfway through this first quarter. LeBron with a wide open three. It's good. 12th triple of the season for James and the first three points of his night. Well, if there's any weakness to his game, it's his three-point shooting at 29%, but he absolutely can make him and get streaky, LeBron will. Fourth turnover for mine. That more than I thought they did, Eric, in terms of other pieces around LeBron and, and uh, Anthony Davis, and it's shown so far this season. None missing the corner triple. So Kendrick has already taken five shots. He's only dropped one. Coming back slowly from a stress reaction to his ankle. He missed the first few games, missed the first four. Bam, on the spin. And Anthony Davis down with a rebound. They need to settle it down on the offensive end. They're struggling. Three of 11 shooting. Contavious Caldwell Pope. Good basket interference there by James Johnson, who swept in and have cut an 11-point deficit to two. You love the grit of the heat. Quinn Cook from downtown. Anthony Davis hammering home the miss. And that's Caruso. This is Cook. He's still in the zone defense. A 2-3 with Johnson and Butler up top. Interesting. Caruso. Oh, that's excellent penetration for the uncontested. Because the middle of the floor, he gets split up front, the two defenders up top, and that's an absolute no-no. Davis has made all four of his shots and then grabs the rebound on the Dragic miss. Anthony Davis, a tremendous talent. Well. He's done it without fouling, too, keeping, uh, you know, Bam without any kind of foul trouble, something that Coach Spo really worries about, one of the reasons why he goes to the zone. Anthony David. Duncan really drawing the defense enough to kick it over there to get none in the layup. The defense forcing the turnover. John, the 2-3 zone has definitely unsettled the Lakers' rhythm a little bit, although they got an easy one there. Dwight points through the first eight games in franchise history for the Heat. Yeah, pushing the Lakers out, too, uh, getting them Getting to the three-point line pretty effectively. Davis short from the middle of the key in Olenek. For his career, he's a 48% shooter. Davis off a brilliant setup from Avery Bradley. That's he back in the 2-3 zone. Miami has tied the game at 43. Troy Daniels is in for the first time for the Lakers as Davis knocks it down from mid-range. Flow of the game, so you know, Lakers right now not able to play as free-flowing and as fast, perhaps, as they'd like. Kendrick Nunn comes out, has eight points in 11 minutes. Dragic replaces him, sets up Bam. Bam with the offensive rebounding them to have to look for those outside shots, packing it inside. Olenek, the quarter three, he misses it. Olenek having a rough night offensively. He's missed his first three shots, and he's had good looks. Butler with a steal, jumping in front of LeBron James for the take. He did just three for 16 themselves from downtown. Looking for the final shot of the first half. Butler. The game go on, so she's a smart basketball player. Well, Kendrick Nunn, 10 points, and that block shot. He trying to scramble their way back down eight. Davis hit the side of the backboard. Here comes Kendrick. Oh, he's going. LeBron right now defensively. Turnover, let's go. This is Bam going right at Davis. Bam for Dragic. Nunn fakes the three, got Davis in the air. Robinson from downtown. 
Well, the three-point shooting just not there for either team, but the Heat get it back on the Butler steal. And then Jimmy misses the triple X. Unbelievable fourth quarter. Just want you guys to know. That was Anthony Davis underneath his first score of the second. Coach asked Gorman to do what he's going to do, so unbelievable teammate, man. Yeah, but harping on that, though, Dwayne, I mean, Coach Spoke talked about, you know, the acceptance of that role and then what he what he noticed with you in particular. 20 points oh, for yeah. the Heat. Oh, it means something to him. You guys know that. <laughs> to be in that locker room, I didn't need to be in there yesterday, but I know exactly Gorman's message to the team. It was, we need to get this one for me. <laughs> Meanwhile, have his last drink to celebrate it because it's about to be over with. <laughs> Two on the shot clock, James with a heave ho. And the rebound comes down to Anthony Davis, his eighth rebound of the game. So that's the one thing that me and UD was actually talking about over there on the sideline was we're not doing a good job of boxing out. Um, it's, it's always been Achilles heels for this team, and it continues. Yeah, particularly out of that 2-3 zone. We're not doing that. 16 points now for Jimmy Butler. The Lakers with an 11-point lead. A moment ago, it was 13. That was their largest of the night. And it's back to 13. Uh, uh, two bigs hooking up. I cut does such a good job looking over top of the defense. He's still in the 2-3 zone for so much of the game. You know, guys, one thing I noticed when I got back to Miami, uh, the year I got traded back to Cleveland. Miami's cut the deficit to 10 with under a minute left in the third quarter. So this is the Lakers, you know, problem right here. When LeBron goes to the bench, what kind of offense do they have? What kind of team do they have? And uh, this is what everyone's going to be looking. 34 seconds left in the third. Miami down 78 to 66. Anthony Davis with 26 points, looking for more. No, no, no. Bam, got you know, it. Just, you remember the good times more than the bad. And uh, I think, uh, boy, I mean, to win two championships and go to four straight finals is, is pretty special. And LeBron was right there with Dwayne and Chris Bosch doing it. Oh. Next game for the Lakers is against Toronto on Sunday. Ibaka won't play. He sprained his ankle tonight. And Kyle Lowry with a small fracture of his left thumb in, in their game tonight. Uh, two pretty uh, you by your South Florida Honda dealers. 10-point Lakers lead, just over four minutes left. Butler drives all the way in, and it rolls off. That's the kind of night it's been for the Heat. Opportunity, some easy ones around the left. Nine-point Lakers lead, 335 left in the night. Butler defending Anthony Davis. LeBron, deep corner three. To go seven and one. If the Heat lose, they'll fall to six and three. Again, with the next five teams on the schedule below 500. Two on the shot clock for Davis. Missed it. Butler down with. Two on the shot clock for Davis. And it dribbled off. LeBron couldn't tip it in. And then ball poorly. Well, you got to screen better. You got to mix up your game and, and get something going more towards the basket. Can't just rely on these three-point shots. And I think the length of, of uh, Los Angeles really bothered Miami getting close.